In this video, I'm going to cover the different types of gateways that you find in BPMN. And gateways basically are flow controllers. So as a sequence flow reaches a given gateway, that gateway then determines the next path uh, or branch that the process is going to take. So in this model, which is an incomplete model, um, we have a number of gateways just to uh, show the concepts. So the first gateway that we have here is and an exclusive gateway is either one path or the other. So when we reach this decision point or this flow controller, we're going to either take one path in the process or the other. So it's exclusive in that you can only take one or the other path. So if we were processing invoices, and let's say we um, were lacking a vendor code, and this gateway is going to evaluate that condition, and if there is a vendor code, then we're going to go down one path in the process, and if there is not a vendor code, we're going to go down another path in the process. Exclusive gateways are represented by diamonds without an icon, or you may also see it represented with an X. So you may see uh, this type of uh, notation. The next type of gateway that we reach here in the process, if in fact there is a vendor code, then we're going to reach a second gateway, and that is a parallel gateway. And a parallel gateway is represented by a diamond with a plus sign. And what that simply means is that all the paths, regardless of condition, are going to be taken. So when we reach this gateway, the outflow is going to take all of the paths. Now gateways can also be used to synchronize paths. So once we've completed each of these activities, let's say we were to complete the pricing review first. And once we've completed that, the sequence flow is going to then reach this next gateway. It's going to, the process is going to continue forward on this path. Well, if we want the process to wait for this other activity, we're then going to use another parallel gateway. So that parallel gateway is going to indicate that we want to wait for all the paths, the incoming paths, to come in before we continue on in the process. So gateways not only control the flow out of the gateway, they also determine the activation of the gateway based on the flow coming into that gateway. So again, in this case, it's a parallel gateway, so we're going to wait for both paths to come into that gateway before we continue to move forward in the process. The other type of gateway we see here in our diagram is considered an inclusive gateway. And an inclusive gateway is represented by a diamond with a circle. And an inclusive gateway is an or condition, or an or uh, situation, I should say. So once we've passed through this gateway, and we reach this next gateway, we may create the new vendor ID or obtain approval or both. So whatever conditions are met, it's going to take the appropriate paths based on the conditions that are met. The other types of gateways that we find in the notation are complex gateways, and event-based gateways. So these deal with other types of conditions and circumstances. So you can see that the, the BPMN notation allows us to have a lot of complexity and control over how the, the process should branch and flow uh, by using these various gateways.